the amalgamation of everything that we have done in the past eight months. sacrifices all of its potential just to waste away in shallow water where it's safe. We're trying to do a little circular thing where we're starting to go a little bit outside of West Michigan to the east side and up north and stuff. Uh, I think in the fall we're playing in Chicago. actually here for the show already which is you know like pretty crazy people showing up this early it's two hours before the show so I we're kind of expecting capacity I don't know if I want to let myself dream that big though you know <laughs> As a musician, I have never had this sort of reaction to anything that I've done before. I mean, because I used to do solo stuff, Kate used to do solo stuff. And when we joined together, we knew we, we had something special, but I don't think we realized that it would grow so fast. We started writing songs together, practicing every, a couple times every week, and uh, we started playing open mic nights here at first, and then people started asking, when's your album going to be out, when's your album going to be out? And we realized, oh, we haven't even started planning for an album yet. I see a lot of positive energy when they're playing, a lot of excitement, and like you can just tell on all their faces that they absolutely love what they're doing. and. They love, I love because they smile at everyone. They just like get so happy when the crowd gets so happy and it's really exciting. The message of, this, of Safe Ship Harbor, you know, in terms of the song as well as the album, to me is just kind of taking, taking life by, like cliche to say, but taking life by the horns and saying, I'm not gonna settle for you know, a, a life lesser than what I want to be doing. It keeps growing and growing. I remember their first founder show, and uh, you could barely find a place to stand. It was just packed wall to wall, and it was just, it was unbelievable to see how fast they've grown in just the six or seven months. We're all really honored with the response we've gotten. We don't take it lightly at all when people come out. We're like, wow, we have fans. Let's appreciate our fans. So, thanks everybody. <laughs> after we play, I'm gonna drink. <laughs> um, after tonight, I don't know. I feel like it's my wedding day. I feel like this is the peak moment of my life right now. I think, I think I'm gonna go write a lot of music. We're, we're spending a weekend up north all together as a band, as a family. And we're just going to write some music because we've been so focused on playing music that we haven't had much of a chance to just bond and write more music. The thought of having our own show at Founders is just incomprehensible to begin with, uh, let alone uh, how much buzz there has been going on and how much support we've had. We are forever indebted to our friends and fans because most of what we've done has been spread by word of mouth. We haven't really done too much promotion other than Facebook and the word of mouth. It's just been, we've been so lucky to have such an awesome, loyal and, and uh, fan base that, that feels like they're part of something and they are part of something. This has been all evolving and we could not have done it without them. So it's just really incredible to see everyone 
work towards making this happen because we couldn't have done it without without those people. Disbelief, really. I mean, I can't believe that we've come this far in such a short amount of time and that, I don't know, like I've never had these sort of dreams for myself, but now I'm starting to think that we could do this full time. Like this could be a job. And that's incredible, that's crazy. It's a lot like somebody lighting a match and just throwing it on a, uh, a fire that has a bunch of kerosene on it. Can't, we can't really control any of this, it's just happening very fast, it's awesome.